Hey, Tater Bug. Hey, Tater Bug, it's me again. Oh, yeah, I got a candy cane for a dog. <laughs> the candy cane for a dog. Where's the wife? Don't shoot all up at once, man. So, you know what I've been thinking about? The salt and sea. In the new river. You know, because the new river. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, I don't, I'm guilty again. I'm drinking dragon's blood. Sauce. Make a spare of fire next morning, like blazing glory. Boom. Like, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Hey, children, all in all. Now and then, old rock ain't so bad. It's like when I'm drinking the whiskey by the gallons. You know, that's bad. That, that'll bring the goat out of me. And nobody likes the goat. Because... <laughs> your goat is something different, yeah. It's something the same, though. No, but we all get along nowadays. We all get along just fine. On a high level and stuff. We get along just fine. Just fine. Sometimes I may be in a little disagreement, but we get along just fine. Yeah. You know, he like every now and then you wanna throw a horn up in my face, and every now and then I have to throw a face up in his horn. You know, well, <laughs> Don't make me shine a little light on you. <laughs> so, you know, and right now, because I'm busy right now, I'm busy right now shining a little light on a new river. Which, really, you know, oh, it makes me think how disgusting. All I can think about is the ones in charge down there and how they're running things and how they're chasing after people they shouldn't even be chasing after. If anything, they should let go of their tail and quit chasing that. You know, because that's all they're doing is going in circles. Where'd all that money go set this side for saving the salt in the sea? Where'd that go? Uh, you know, at one time I was only asking three hundred thousand to uh, bring a uh, to bring a revival to that sea. Even if it was just a little revival, it would have been a revival, and it would have been a start to a great relationship. You know, but that that was because I was going to like take that and invest it in pipe and. Invested in concrete, invested in wheels, invested in copper, invested in magnets, invested in, you know, things that, that would be constructively, constructively better, constructively better, bettering the area you're in. Not neglecting, ignoring, and pulling more into an already empty table. So, you know, it wouldn't hurt if you was to buy, like, Build porta potties all over the way. Wouldn't hurt. Sidewalk urinals. You know, that run down in 
the septic and sidewalk urinals and toilets. So that way people would be able to sit down and poop instead of squatting in the streets. And then the sidewalks, where, where they end up having to sleep. Ain't that, ain't that sanctuary? Gosh, I, I thought you, I thought you said you were gonna go pick him up. Well, I thought you said you was gonna shoot it. So, yeah, no, no, why would I? I'm not picking on them, I am pointing out specific facts. Pointing out very, very specific facts that Mexico, Mexicali, has got to run off of the whole bunch of different things into this river called the New River. Yeah, they was like giving state funds to correct this manner. And that was like easy five years ago, six years ago. And now uh, I'm still hearing complaining about rotten eggs. Now what? Now, because thinking about that kind of drives me crazy. I watch, I dream about this stuff. I watch, I watch this, this dude put his clothes in a plastic bag, right? And he, he, like, swims across the New River, which, you know, is like really contaminated by the stuff that flows off into it. Yeah, I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna keep harping. And no, I don't think you will, but you just go ahead and sit down, relax, retire. Do you, you gotta do, sit down somewhere, be quiet. <coughs> I can't, you can't hear me, you're too busy talking. And you ain't talking about nothing. So, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. The whole idea is to create employment. You know, the whole idea is to stop dividing people. To stop dividing people and actually bring them together in unity. A community and unity goes very well good. And especially if the community and unity is working in like mind to a good cause. Which, clean water, clean food, clean housing, clean energy, those are really good things to work for. Especially if it's creating employment. You know, even if we have to set up an AI banking system to where, you know, you pay, like, look, just cut the whole city off from the whole wide world and set up an AI banking within the city and, you know, we do it that way. And then, by example, we will live and by example, we will show the world better ways. Better ways than the ways they're going about things now, which, you know, to me, is quite backwards. First off, the biggest one is charging your, charging your own you. My goodness gracious, what's wrong with you charging your own youth for an education which you should be paying them for? Because they are your future. You want to come back to a fucked up place? Go ahead, charge your kids for an education. That's really brain smart. Hey, you know what's even what's even more brain smart is we can pay for our own, own golden pockets and forget the promises we make. 
Yeah, you know, oh, that song's pretty good. Pretty good playing on the, on the other hand. But right now we're talking about the green middle part. Neither hand, but the green part in the middle. That's my, this me party. And whoever is willing to follow the heart into the me party, we're all green. And we're all for green peace, and we're all for educating our children and paying them to be educated. So, I say, I say we clean water and we produce energy, right? So, what we do is we take an air, air and we compress it into a certain poundage and we spin this great big wheel that runs all these generators that run all these lights that evaporate all this water that condense all this water into nice clean water it's drinking you know and then if we have to electrocute it what just small volts with pure silver negative pure gold positive side by side so the electrical current goes back and forth and burns the metals burns the white parts off which is digestible to the human body it's digestible it means it can go through your stomach and be broke down and put into your little tiny cells that go all the way up to your nerve endings and replace and you know it will you will age slower, you'll get smarter, and you will be healthier, less sick, I mean, you'll be less sick than the rest of the world, because in one form or another, we just gotta be flowing into the future, and how are we gonna flow into the future, well, I say you have a little faith in me, and I'll have a little faith in you, and between the both of us, we'll have a, enough faith to build a heaven on earth. Yes, yeah, sir, and don't call me Jesus, call me Dana, because that's my name, Dana. You know, and I'm, I'm offering a I'm offering to show you a way to have the perfect living conditions and, and, and in such a way that we can build them for all earth dwelling alike, you know, because garden going home, that's a kit you put together and then mud down, you know, it's a kit and it's a lightweight stone that floats, well, if you order floating ones. And only if we can get into the salt and see where we can build them floating, you know, we're already floating. So let's get the first few set up to where we can float down. And then we, yeah, yeah, and then a whole bunch more, all the giddy things come from that. But in the meantime, you know, we start off with Bill one. We show the world the garden home home is worthy to live in, you know, because it's three stories tall. It's got a control room. It's got a four, a four bedroom flat with, a, with, a, you know, nice, two nice sized bathrooms and then a kitchen area and an open mill, you know, that's your living area. And then downstairs in the center you'll have a waterfall that falls into a basin underneath that that would be your basement so you know the garden area the water falls into the basin the water falls it gets sucked up from the basin and it gets dropped back down where the fish live you know and then the new water gets sucked up upright things and then they get dumped down in garden beds and garden beds and all this so you have this great big garden area you know and then I, yeah and then you have like your your uh, allergy you know your allergy ball where you run run your air you know and then your your sewage and garbage it gets you know coiled down the, down the pipe and then sent to the refineries so lots of good things you know lots of good details and yeah. there could be so many more details if i could get find the like-minded thing 
Uh, oh, he went to sleep and it's almost over. Dang it, Mac. I knew I talked too much. It's getting cold. My nose is running. Come on, Mac. Mac Brown's son, and I was so energetic. Because it's the time when we go some 20 minutes span. 